this nice introduction. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm going to tell you today about a best kind of loser. In our librarian's chapel talk, we heard about a little girl growing up in a strict Christian school, bravely leaving for college far away and blasting her comfort bubble. And I could truly relate to that. Almost seven months ago, I was living in a warm egg, um, warm and familiar, where I knew all the rules of life, uh, had my family and friends in reach, and where it all seemed easy and self-explanatory. My little egg was taken from me on <laughs> August 16th, 2016. I began my year with a cyst. I chose this to, to go abroad and participate in an exchange program, not truly really understanding what it means to live abroad, or be new to a new school, or not see your parents for 10 months. All movies and books came alive the first week by just walking in the neighborhood. Little things like people smiling, groceries, baggers, Mustang cars driving around, uh, the sudden accent of my host dad, or water glasses the size of my water bottle made it all seem completely different, insane, and instantly American. A good example of that is New York, how I can still remember the smell of the streets and the motion in the air by just looking at the pictures. I call that American aura. For the, for the past seven months, I've been taking part in activities I've never done before. Cross country, swimming, learning in American school, communicating with American girls, that can be a sign sometimes, living in a new family, <laughs> and America. I admit it, I was a loser, in a way that it all seemed so uncomfortable at first. Last in swimming, slow in communication, lacking knowledge of, about the local politics, school subjects, or American family life. I realize it now that that was the best thing I could be, the best thing anyone can be. I loved it, and I still love it. I could improve my personal record in running by five minutes, by almost 10 seconds in swimming, learn year-long math course in two weeks, and those little victories Little improvements gave me so much energy to do even more, to try even harder. So I agreed to do some crazy things like debate about American politics with American fears in front of the upper school, um, shadow an emergency center doctor who worked with NASA before, or do something like this. I just thought to myself, have we done that before? Then why not try it? Joe Gold, a person I know from my exchange program, once told me that cross-country is more about racing yourself rather than the person next to you. The saying could not be more true for cross-country, but I have found myself using it not only in my running training. It helped me to work hard, even being the last in something. Work hard for the experience and personal improvement, not for the score. It was all worth it. The hard work paid off, not only in the score improvements eventually, but also in the way I felt doing it, in the new things I understood about the limitless aspects of human body and mind, and the new people I met. All because of one decision, to leave my little egg. I've taken first steps of adventure, and I want to keep on walking. I understand now that I have so many new places to discover in this world and in my mind so many new activities to try, and so many things to say yes to. All in all, cracking this egg and becoming this best kind of loser was one of the greatest decisions I could make, at the time not completely understanding what I was getting into. They say the world, world is your playground. Well, I say the world is more of a canvas full of empty space to fill with your experiences. I want to thank Assist. I want to thank St. Catharines and mostly my host family for that big burning sun by the corner of my gouache sky. Thank you. <laughs>